trying to go. And this is what I do. Pour it out. I can't even hit this thing. So here we go with more mom messes, more stress. Is this your life? Good morning from Raising Ollie's. It's not been the best morning for this mom. I'm trying to get ready, so I'm going to do Sam's, pick up Sam's today. And I couldn't get a Sam's haul for today, so me and my daughter Faith and the twins are going to drive over there and do it herself. I don't know if I'll be able to get videos with the babies or not, but we'll see what happens. While I was in the bathroom, which you can tell I hadn't done much to my hair or anything, I was just brushing it and trying to brush my teeth and stuff, I walked to the kitchen and I only got a small clip and it's up and down, sorry for that. I'm going to insert it. You get to see what the twins did. I can't leave them for a minute. And it's not like they were doing it on purpose. I think they was just wanting a snack and they're very <sighs> independent. Very, very headstrong, independent little girls. They can do anything they want. They're just a little too short. So they climbed up there, tried to get them some cheese and they ended up playing with some eggs and stuff on the way and made a big mess. And that type of refrigerator, if anybody knows and has everybody, if anybody's ever tried to take one apart, it doesn't all come out, but the pieces that do, it's an act of Congress. You can't just take out a few things. Oh no, you gotta take out this, take out that. You gotta take all this out to get the bottom shelf out. And it takes two people to hold the doors all the way open and slide it up at an angle completely to get it out. Then all them pieces come apart. I had fun cleaning the refrigerator. To say this, I know moms get distracted. Like I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to learn to do more for myself, not just be selfish, but hey, mom needs to be around. Mom needs to eat healthy. Maybe a little bit of exercise, whether it's at home or the gym. I do the gym because I pay and it makes me go. But when I was a few years ago, when Grace was a baby, I used to run at home and I done from couch C25K from Zen Labs on the app. And I just ran around the circle until I got to where I could run three miles. Then at three days a week, or four days a week, I'd run three miles. And the other two days, I would run six miles. I was planning on going on up, but I didn't make it past 10K. I ended up pregnant, moving, all kinds of stuff that interfered, and I'm starting over. And I hate that I let myself go and life interfere, but that happens. The weight comes on easily, slowly. So don't think you can take a magic pill or a magic wand or anything and get it off. And nothing's quick and fast. They're just scams out there trying to take you money. It takes patience, time, and commitment. Commitment's the main thing. I mean, commit that you want to do this. Admit first that you want to do this and stick with it. Some days you don't have off days. I fell off the wagon yesterday, but I'm back on it. I went to the gym and I'm going to work my way down. I may have some back slides, but I'm going to pick myself up and go. Wait, I do need to be leaving. I don't know if I can do this with this hand in my hand. I need a selfie sticker. I need to do something. But anyway, I run to the bathroom for a moment to have a quiet moment. And yes, Fate's in there watching the twins. She's actually getting them in the car so they can't make another mess. But I've got to change because on top of, isn't it, it's funny how it's just not one thing that happens to us. And it may be to other people too, but as a mom, you do something, you're trying to get someone to do something. You feel all these obstacles that just keep falling in your way. And okay, I'm trying to get out the door. Well, then the twins make a mess. I clean that up, which means taking the whole refrigerator apart. Then I'm trying to find their shoes. Can't find their shoes. Then do this, then get them dressed change your diapers again, then dress them again, put their shoes back on, get them in the van. And while Fate's doing that, I look in the mirror and yes, that is a bleach spot. My new shirt, my newest shirt. Look at all the bleach. Can you see that? I don't wear this. I've only worn it a couple of times because I didn't want to mess it up. So I thought since I was going to town, I'll put on my shirt that Faith got me. Now, it's going to be a work shirt. I wanted to cry. I was to the point of crying, and I know it's just a shirt, but if you're a mom and you go in and trying to accomplish something and your time's flying by so quick, you got kind of a time limit, 
and then things happen, you have all these obstacles, you know, you get tired. I mean, physically and mentally tired of trying to jump through all these obstacles and make everything okay for everybody. And that's where we always forget about ourselves. We're too busy doing for everybody and everything else that needs to be done. That we let ourselves go. We may gain a little bit of weight. We may not take care of our hair. We may not go get our car washed or something that's to do with us or get new clothes or do something to make us look nice. We just wear something that's 10 years later. It's just, we're still wearing some of the same stuff. I actually found a pair of Nike pants in there. I, there was windbreaker Nike pants and they don't make them like that anymore. I actually bought them when I was pregnant with Faith. That's probably the honest thing that I've gotten. I hate that I'm admitting that. She's going to be 18 in June. I bought them when I was pregnant with her because they're men's and they were stretchy and I wore them in a t-shirt. I didn't want to be some, I was 24. I didn't want to look like some mom with maternity clothes. Not that that's a bad thing now. Whew, give me anything. I'll put on anything. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Especially by the time twins get here, if you see me in the same thing or whatever, as long as I could get a bath, be thankful. Okay, I'm running off in La La Land, off in rabbit holes, chasing rabbits. I should have named mine chasing rabbits. I've said that before because I'm always on phone different holes. But I just wanted to let you know that you're not alone. You're not the only one out there. I'm taking this challenge to better myself. Yes, I have obstacles. Yes, I have bad days. And sometimes they just keep getting worse and worse, but that's okay. We're strong. We're used to fixing everybody else's problems. So let's try to learn to fix ours. So I'm going to try to continue watching my weight. I do low carb foods, good carbs. I do eat a lot of that because that's what I fix for the family so they can eat broccoli and cauliflower and all that kind of stuff. So, if it was just me, I would cut all that out and try to do as many lower carbs as I could, maybe like 20 a day, but I can't, not with everything that's going on with the children. I have to fix for them, and I want to eat what they eat, but at least I'm trying to stay away from the pastas and breads and all that, which is very hard. That's my favorite. I love starches. I love sweets. I am going to go on my Sam's Adventure. And I don't know what's going to happen throughout the day. I don't plan it. Because see, if I'd have planned something this morning, I'd have had to cancel. I had too much to do. I'm going to go change my shirt. I'm going to go out there. And hopefully babies will take them a short nap on the way there. And maybe they'll feel better. And let's see if we can get through Sam's with the twins. eating pancakes. Are they good? Let's have some yummy pancakes. <laughs> Y'all been getting all kinds of snacks and Sam's. Say the way to our heart is food. Isn't that right? You should get some socks. Don't open them yet. No! It's a bird. A what? Oh, it's got a chick chick? What do you want? You want your salt? Let me see. better eyes than me. What is this? Joy, do you know what that is? What is it? Oh, it's a house. What is this, Charity? Oh, it's a house. 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 Oh, did you see her? Do you like those? <laughs> well, 
I forgot I had a few things for the thrift store, but I managed to get what I had to have in here. So let's get the twins. Y'all ready? You got your shoes? You got your shoes? How about you? You got yours on. We got to get your tags off, Minnie Pearl. Minnie Pearl. Where's your tags? You want my mommy to get them off? Your mommy get your tags off? Okay. Love you. That's going to be all. Thanks for watching from Raising Rounds.